Hi, in this video, I'm going to derive Michaelis Menten equation. So uh, let's uh, start with the enzyme substrate reaction. We have enzyme plus substrate. It would form a enzyme substrate complex and then it would form enzyme plus product. So for this forward step, let the rest red constant of this step is k1 and for this reverse step we would denote it as k minus 1 and for this second step it would be k2 and now we have to do a assumption called as steady state assumption so what is this steady state assumption so if we draw a graph in which in the x-axis we would plot time and in the y-axis we would put concentration then what would happen with the increase of time with the increase in time the substrate concentration would go gradually down whereas with the increase of time the product concentration would increase so this is the product concentration and this is the substrate concentration and in the meanwhile the concentration of the enzyme and substrate complex the ES complex would first increase and then it would reach a steady state or we can say it could reach a plateau so from this particular assumption our assumption would be the rate of formation of enzyme substrate complex or ES or rate of breakdown is almost constant so as it is constant then rate of change of enzyme substrate const, uh, co uh, substrate complex with respect to time that means DES DT it would be zero so this particular is our steady state assumption and now from this Michaelis Menten equation we would try to uh, find the rate equations so first let's say we were talking about formation so the rate of formation of ES so the rate of formation of E from the rate of formation of ES we can write the equation like the concentration of ES is equal to k1 times concentration of enzyme and concentration of substrate and then we would write the breakdown of rate of breakdown of ES and the breakdown of enzyme substrate complex here we would get so this is actually rate of formation and rate of breakdown is actually K minus 1 into ES because we have to consider the backward direction and it's also breaking down to form give out the product and enzyme so we have to consider the k2 into es so as per our steady state assumption rate of formation is exactly equal to rate of breakdown so we would equate these two things so our rate of formation of ES enzyme substrate complex is actually equal to rate of breakdown of enzyme substrate complex so this is actually equal so now if we do our maths then what we would find these total uh, enzyme this would be actually enzyme total minus this enzyme substrate complex and the rest of the equation would be same and now if we do again in the step and rearrange all these things we would end up getting k1 et into substrate concentration equal to es 
and if we take common in all these things then we would find k minus 1 plus k2 if we do the maths we would get this thing and if we divide this thing with k1 over here then we would get et into substrate concentration which is actually equal to es into plus k minus 1 plus k2 by k1 so this whole term is actually known as km the Michael is maintained constant and this particular term is known as km so now we would write the equation as equal to es substrate concentration plus km so now we have in our hand that es equal to enzyme total enzyme concentration into substrate concentration divided by substrate concentration plus our Michaelis maintained constant now from our discussions we can see that rate of product formation rate of product formation with respect to time is actually considered as velocity of the enzyme reaction and rate of product formation is solely dependent upon the rate of breakdown of enzyme substrate construct uh, uh, enzyme substrate complex so that is why rate of change rate of change uh, uh, appearance of the product would be actually equal to k2 into es now if we get back to our equation if we multiply both sides with k2 both side we are multiplying with k2 so we are getting somewhat like this and this k2 es it is actually our velocity of enzymatic re reaction and now the particular quantity k2 into et is considered as v max so it is the velocity of the enzyme when all the active sites are saturated by the product so it's the maximal velocity of the enzyme so what would happen v0 is equal to v max into substrate concentration divided by substrate plus km so this particular equation is known as michaelis menten equation now what we would do we would try to plot a graph for this michaelis menten equation so here we are plotting a graph in the x-axis we have the substrate concentration and in the y-axis we have velocity of enzyme action so what would happen first when the substrate concentration is low the velocity of the enzyme reaction and the substrate concentration would show a linear relationship that means that means with increase of the substrate the velocity of enzyme reaction would gradually increase but after a certain concentration of the substrate when the substrate concentration would be pretty high then with the increase of the substrate the velocity of the enzyme reaction doesn't change much so there is actually it reached a plateau so it reached a plateau so here what would happen if we try to draw the scenario then here if it is our enzyme then there are not much substrate but here what happens and all the enzymes are not saturated here enzymes are and substrates are in a balanced manner but here in this condition what happens all our enzymes are fully saturated by the substrate plus we have extra substrate so if we increase more and more substrate it won't increase the velocity because all the enzymes over at this condition at this higher substrate concentration are saturating the enzyme enzymes active site so no matter how much we increase the substrate concentration the velocity of the enzyme reaction would no more increase so at this point we would say it had reached a maximum velocity 
so this is called vmax and now we would define a substrate km the michaelis maintain concentration the michaelis maintain uh, constant actually so km is actually the substrate concentration so km would be on the x axis substrate concentration at which the velocity of the enzyme reaction is exactly half of the vmax so say for instance at this point velocity of the enzyme reaction is just half the vmax so if we extrapolate this point we would end up getting km this is actually the michaelis maintain constant and now what we would do we would try to look at in two cases say for one case our substrate concentration is fairly less than km at this particular situation what happens v0 would be vmax into s by km as km is much much greater than s so from our michaelis maintain equation we can ignore these substrate concentration and uh, if we have a substrate concentration if we have a velocity of enzyme reaction that is actually half the vmax then the substrate concentration corresponding to this particular scenario would be our km so when v equal to vmax we would have half vmax Km plus substrate this would cancel out and then Km would be particularly proportional to substrate concentration so Km is basically a substrate concentration at which the velocity of enzyme reaction is just the half of its maximal velocity so this was all about the michaelis maintain equation and the derivation of the michaelis maintain equation i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe thank you